all right so what is going on today folks yes 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 finally the ban list has been dropped it was dropped yesterday by the time you guys are seeing this video um so yeah man we're going to just discuss it see what it does for zombies and you know pretty much my thoughts on the whole list um so before we get started i would like to say if you guys do enjoy the video go ahead and leave a like comment and also subscribe if you have not already if you guys want to help the channel out links are in the description down below and you also can click an ad or you can do both either or any variation of those co uh, combos would be very helpful for the channel and i appreciate it very much so without further ado let's go ahead and get started and with the band cards which are sam sarah lotus a nightmare goblin and mx saber invoker sam sarah lotus was part of a ftk um so that's why it got banned there's no reason for it it doesn't provide any un like honestly they should just get rid of any card that does like that i think there's another one like this wait is it no it's treeborn wait no there's another card that just keeps coming back i'm not sure i think it was no it was treeborn for all but they errated it um so yeah um sam Sarah lotus was pretty much the same exact way except during the end phase when you control no spells and traps so i mean yeah um yeah just is there's no reason for it um it's banded or they could easily could have ratted it to one but like i said it doesn't really serve any purpose nobody plays it um nightmare goblin that is something we did talk about in our band list video my brother pretty much put me onto this he was like man goblin may get banded i was thinking i was like nah not nah, it's way too early then i thought about it, i'm like a lot of a lot of decks cannot extra link without goblin or it's very very hard for them to extra link without goblin they need like the perfect hand and yeah man i got you know he was right because you know this is clearly this is the bridge like i was saying in the video this is pretty much the bridge to get to that extra link this is what you need to cross over the extra normal summon and also um even though the normal summon was the major reason why i got hit the fact that you cannot target once there's anything that was cold link really made the loop i mean really made the lock really unbreakable but now since we don't have any more nightmare goblin shenanigans now we can just uh now we can just play cards to uh that that can target so we can play stuff like um mind control again we can play stuff like econ we can you know we can actually use revenants in vindreds because now we can just banish a monster and then break the extra link so that was really good i guess that was their answer to extra link since firewall did not get banned so yeah man goblin being banned is you know i i hey I guess, man. I guess. I don't know how Seraph Knight survived that long, but Goblin got banned in first couple of months, so <laughs> that was it. And MX Saber Invoker, 50-50 um, really with this card. It was used in Gokis, and it really made Gokis, you know, they gave Gokis that extra step. And then also it was it was involved in a lot of FTKs and a lot of lockdowns, which was which was very crazy that this card was involved. But if you think about the Amazon is Archer loop, this card, the Sam Soros Lotus loop, this card, the six Samurai stuff, this card is just it's always a part of some type of FTK. There's a reason why Terror Top is limited and stuff like that. So yeah, man, there's a reason why we don't have a lot of level threes to begin with because this card was just so good to get that extra warrior. Um, so yeah, it getting banned really will slow down Gokis, really will stop most of the FTK deck. So yeah, good hit Konami. All in all, A plus job on the bands. Um, nothing else. Soul Charge could have got banned, but hey, I guess we got to deal with that for another format. All right, on to the limited. We have A Assault Core, Elementary Stratos. And before we continue, thank come on man clap it up for fucking konami finally after 40 fucking years you finally un unreleased the guy that did nothing wrong he was framed for murder and he did not commit it did not commit the murder they finally let this man out of jail uh, but he's on parole but damn it he's he's out of jail man clap it up man finally justice has been served thank god man thank god all right so let's continue morphin jar electrum knight omega Exiton Knight, Hero Lives, Card Destruction, Hornet Drones, and Super Poly. And I believe, yeah, that was all the limiteds. Let's start from the top. ASR Core, um, there was a loop with that. If you get two in the graveyard, it's pretty much infinite because the other one can target the other one. So, yeah, ABCs are effectively dead, I would say, because once A gets removed, that's done. You can't play Pot of Desires. Call by the Graves, shut your whole fucking deck down. Like, you just, it's just not, it's just not smart to play the deck anymore. I, I would not play it. There's just no reason to because it's, it's like you're literally banking on not getting this removed. And we, you know, people will start side and like there's no way this deck is going to be tier one but i'm just saying just in case there's so many cards that banish they get rid of the a assault core you cannot go to buster there's no reason to be playing the deck 
we already talked about straddles but once again before we skip past it thank god man finally this man has seen the light of freedom and i'm glad i'm here to see him um morphin jar I, I don't know i don't know what they're thinking I, I, that card is really good i'm guessing this is danger support um really good fucking danger support I, i'll tell you that much because this if this resolves you're most likely losing against any dark world or danger deck you're you're, you're losing don't there's no there's no nothing about it you're literally losing because you cannot keep up with that advantage and they're also it's, it's basically like a reincarnation but um i guess a, a a more tamer version of reincarnation so yeah you know what come to think about it reincarnation was not hit nothing in trick stars was technically hit on this list that might be a problem um electrum knight that's I, I mean it's surprising to me because i didn't think um pendulums were really doing that much i didn't have it on my list when i did made my list i didn't think it would get banned i mean not banned but limited that's i mean i don't know man i i, I don't know electrum I, I feel like it should have went to two i think two would have been a lot better because you know you can only use it in pendulum so like there's they're pretty much their only good link putting it to one really just like once the first one gets out that's pretty much it i think it definitely should have just went to two <clears throat> one was a little harsh omega i mean it was it was coming man it was coming so all you zombie players that's focused on omega and try to make that uh omega spam and even a junk speeders like for all the zombie players just come on over to the dark side man join that extra link zombies join them up join us join the link zombies man if they're not even extra link no more just join the link zombies we can't do nothing else omega's got limited you guys knew it was coming we, we knew it was coming eventually eventually and junk speeder really i guess turbo that out because a four star in any in a, in a one star tuner was getting you triple omega so that's that was the real problem so actually it was four omega so yeah that card getting hit was pretty much coming i mean you guys should know that exiton knight i don't think it's going to really do anything i believe it got a rata but i'm not sure what got eroded or anything like that so you guys have to let me know what's different because every time i keep reading that card it looks exactly the same so i'm not sure the difference um hero lives uh i never really liked the cards so I, really, I didn't think it was that broken you have to pay half your life points to get a one monster out i didn't think it was that broken but i guess that's the cost for uh straddles <laughs> but i mean i guess I'll, I'll take it man i'm not really tripping card destruction same thing as morphin jar i don't know why they did this but I guess it's danger support. This is going to be very bad. Card destruction, like I said, you get hit with a card destruction, you, you, it's most likely over. Um, and it's a spell card, so you can activate it the turn you draw it. Not like Trickstar Reincarnation. Card destruction, Morphin Jar should not be in these games, or they should be errated at least. I'm not sure, even if you can errat it, but yeah um i think card destruction is going to get banned once again just like with morphin jar i think both of them is just going to get right back banned because i don't think there's no need for those cards in the meta especially night like trick sharp reincarnation which needs to get limited or something konami uh next uh hornet drones and super poly hornet drones a lot of people called it i you know what i can agree i, I actually like sky strikers as a deck i really do because i feel like they're really balanced um, but Hornet Drones, on the other hand, since it can be splashed in so many decks, and technically it's two, for the price of one, you get two monsters. That's a little, that's a little bit. I don't think there's any other card that can do that besides like other combo cards. But excuse me, this card gets you to a Kagari. Kagari uh, gets this back, and then you pretty much get a free token. Um, there's no restrictions. I mean, you just have to control no monsters in the main monster zone. So Hornet Drones going to one. You know i can agree with that super poly would be very hyped upon release but it's not going to really do anything in the meta except unless we get a tcg exclusive and i feel like we're going to get a tcg exclusive that requires just one i mean any two monsters or two monsters of 1500 we're going to get something stupid to make super poly good that's the only way i would see this getting played besides that it would just be in the fusion decks um such as thunders and stuff like that and e heroes so yeah, I mean, it's not, I don't think it's going to really do anything to begin with, but it is an out to an extra link, I believe, because Starving Venom, I believe, is two darks. So, yeah, I think something like that. Something like that. You, you, I'm pretty sure they're going to give us a card to out extra links as a fusion. On to the semi limited uh, Dark Destroyer, um, called by the grave, limited removal, scapegoat, and terraforming. Um, to start this off, Dark Destroyer going to two, it's kind of scary. <laughs> I can tell you that it's very. 
very scary i don't know if i'm ready to deal with cosmos again a 3000 untargetable beater that can be special summoned in pops monsters it's kind of uh it's kind of scary to look down but i don't know we'll see i feel like they're gonna definitely show up i don't think they're gonna be tier though but i definitely think they'll show up call by the grave going to two was the worst it was literally the worst hit on this list it was the, the I, I don't understand why konami did this call by the grave was not hurting anybody it was actually helping everybody out because now not only do i have an effective dd crow that helps me out that stalls me and get i mean stalls my opponent i can also hit hand traps i don't know why they did this i mean hand traps are not good for the i mean a lot of people like hand traps i i personally don't a few hand traps is cool but like when we get in 15 to 12 hand traps is come on like we, let, let's like who, who's supposed to play man um this it, this is really like one of the worst hits and i don't know this in, in a long time i'm not i'm not really I, I i gotta jog my memory about the hits but call by the grave going to two was really like it's really a fucking bummer man like they gave us straddles to get our hopes up and then do some stupid shit like this I, I really just don't agree with this I, I feel like that's just really stupid i mean a couple questionable moves on here card destruction morphin jar then you put this to two like come on man like you're trying to push dangers but jesus christ like relax uh limited removal um <laughs> being at two I'm, I, I'm pretty sure no cyber players are going to play this still but and then it's eventually going to go to three which i really don't want it to because think about it two limited removals on a cyber dragon is already game and don't forget this pumps every machine and it doesn't double the original attack it doubles the attack so if you have hippo shenanigan or some shit it doubles that too like it's uh i think it's going to be a little crazy if cybers do top i mean i'm pretty sure they're going to be starting maining limited removal uh it's just a free pretty much otk machine uh oh yeah look at that pun but yeah <laughs> it's just an otk card um i don't know why they put it anything up in one uh, next, scapegoat terraforming. These cards easily should have been at one. Once again, I feel like Konami was on a good roll, and then they got towards down the list, and it was just terrible. Um, there's this like call by the grave shouldn't be hit. Scapegoat and terraforming should easily be at one. There's just why why put it at two? It doesn't really hurt anything with scapegoat. Like now, you just give me two more open slots for my deck, and it does not change the effect. Uh, it doesn't change the the consistency of the deck. It doesn't do anything to, to the deck. Like putting them to two, do what? stupid dumb it easily should have been at one i feel like they should go to one but hey and then lastly the unlimited cards it is towers disc commander burial and ring of destruction you guys already know how i feel about burial thank god now we can do a whole shitload of sh uh, mizuki shenanigans and i can't wait i cannot wait and uh yeah towers being at three doesn't really matter uh if you guys actually watched my last band list prediction i pretty much said towers can go to three nobody cares it can be out by any link in a game that destroys something so it literally got phased out of the game or power crept or whatever you want to call it this commander got it rattle we everybody's seen this coming ring of destruction once again nobody's playing these cards and burial from different dimension uh just want to touch on this one more time thank god all right we finally got it so now we have nine was we have 12 mizukis in the deck so that's cool um yeah uh and pretty much my thoughts on this i, I really do like the list um once again the very questionable cards on here but overall i really do like the list it definitely shakes up the meta and it doesn't really hurt too many decks i mean it's shitted on abcs but uh, besides that um gokis can still play every deck can still play i don't know why trick stars once again didn't get hit again but yeah like every deck can play um you brought some decks back with cosmos with the cosmo thing um yeah like i said besides the call by the grave hit everything else was cool i give this list probably a b plus maybe a b a b to a b plus because i really do like it but like i said call by the grave really takes this from an a down to a, it might be even a c minus because the call they're like it's such a stupid terrible hit it just really bums me out but stratos is free throw a party for stratos get your yugi juice get your yugi cups man pour everything you got up in there my boy stratos is back and i just released my fortune hero deck so you guys already know next week we're going back in with that going to be playing with stratos um and then also lastly but not least what does this do to extra link zombies now that goblin is banned and i'm here to tell you folks sadly no nothing it does nothing you can still extra link you can still do all the combos i feel like we're the best extra link deck now besides like cyverse or something but cyverse don't have their cards i 
I mean, I'm probably biased. You guys let me know. But I feel like we're the best Extra Link deck right now. The most, cons I guess, the most consistent version of the Extra Link. But yeah, man, I would shortly, I would give them to you next week as well. We're going to play some more Extra Link Zombies to show you that Nightmare Goblin is a gr big hit, but it doesn't stop our deck. I mean, it stops like every other deck that, you know, who basically needs that extra normal summon to do what they need to do. We technically don't need that extra normal summon. It's just helpful. So yeah, that is it. Those are my thoughts. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. You guys let me know what you guys think of the list. What grade would you give it? What percentage would you give it? I don't know. Whatever you use to judge anything, let me know uh, how you judged it. Um, I Like I said, I like it. I really do. As far as zombies go, doesn't really affect us. Omega kind of hurts, but really we weren't we were phasing away from that and we're also getting the new structure deck and the yes glow boom i did see that we're definitely going to be doing i'm going to be incorporating that into the deck as well um that'll probably be thursday's video i don't know i'll probably do two separate videos one for the tcg one just for everything coming out but yeah or maybe I might do it Monday. I'm not sure. We'll do one of these videos someday. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to help the channel out, well, click and add or donate to the channel by using one of the links down below. Besides that, have a nice day. I will see you guys another day.